Are you? I'm 17. Okay. Um, what's your favourite type of genre? Um, probably romance. Oh, alright. Um, do you like thriller genres? Yeah. Alright, um, and what, why do you like them? Um, because they're jumpy, they're intrigue the audience. Alright, what's your favourite element of a thriller? Um, probably the jumpiness. Alright. Uh, what's your favourite sub-genre? Um, probably drama. Um, how many characters would you like to see, like, in the opening scene? How many characters do you As in, expect? like, main characters? Yeah. Um, probably two. Right. Uh, what do you look for in a main character? Um, probably a protagonist and an antagonist. Right. Yeah. When should a twist in the plot happen? Um, between the middle and end, so like the edges. Right. And what do you expect in the thriller? Like jump scares. <laughs> <laughs> Not really yeah. Alright yeah. oh, then. Cheers. Alright, so how old are you? Seventeen. Alright then. What is your favourite type of genre? Uh, probably like a crime drama. Why is that? Because my favourite films are in that genre. Uh, Goodfellas, Godfather. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so um, do you like the thriller genre? I do like the thriller genre. Why do you like the thriller genre? I like the thriller genre because um, some of the storylines are the best storylines in motion picture history, in right. my personal opinion. Um, and I always love being misled. Yeah, okay. Alright, so what is your favourite element of a thriller? Element of. Oh. Mm, most likely the twist. Twist, okay. So yeah. um, in a thriller, what's your favourite sub genre? Crime. Crime, crimey psychological, right, but so mostly crime. In the opening sequence, how many of the main characters like, do you think is the best in them? What, in the opening yeah, sequence? Yeah, in the opening sequence. I mean, it depends what the storyline is, right. but if I was to give you an average, no more than five, because it will overcomplicate over things, depending on where the setting is. If it's like set in like a, a war scenario, then yeah. you might have like 30, 40 soldiers, but like central well, characters, main, yeah, yeah main it's got to be a maximum five. Right. What do you see in the main characters? See in the main characters? Yeah. Um, you want to be, you want to be a little bit riveted by them, yeah. and you want, you want to get to know more about them as the story develops, so they need that hook, whether it comes from the acting or just who they are right. as a person. Okay. So, last question. When you think like the twist of the story, when should it be revealed? Towards the end. Towards the end Towards of the film, the end, yeah? yeah. Alright then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Alright, so, so, how old are you? Uh, I'm 28 years of age, nearly 29. Okay. Alright, so, um, what is your favourite genre? Uh, my favourite genre is probably drama. Why? But I, why? Um, I think I'd say comedy drama because I, I like I like a mix between the comedy and the drama. I like things to be serious but not so serious that you don't get too involved with it yeah. in in your head. Yeah. Things like that. Right. Um do you enjoy the thriller? Like thriller genre? Yeah, I really do enjoy thrillers, yeah. yeah. So um, why why? What? Why? Um I think the reason I enjoy thrillers is because I like to get sucked into a story in which I'm not sure where it's which uh, road it's going to take next. Yeah. Um, I like things to to lead me into suspense. So I want to be not shocked like a horror. I want to be drawn in and be told exactly what's going to happen to the characters, and then be pushed into a feeling where I'm like, I can't escape this. Yeah. So uh, what's your type of like favourite subgenre of a thriller? Favourite subgenre. Um, I say psychological, yeah. I like psychological thrillers because they really get you thinking about the, the state of a person, yeah. how they're thinking. And I really like films like Black Swan, um, films like Memento, where you see the, gen, the, the character going from a state of normality to being crazy. I yeah. like people going crazy. Right. So, if you're going to watch an opening of the scene, yeah. how many of like, the main characters like, do you think would be like, the best in life? Um, I personally don't want to see too many characters because it depends on what who the story is about first and foremost. Yeah. But normally one or two, or just the general vibe of the. It depends whether you're doing a film that's an ensemble, so more it's, yeah. it's about characters like Train Spotting, or if it's about one person's journey, then I'd focus on that person's journey. Okay. Um, so like with a twist in the, the plot, where do you think is like the best time for it to be revealed? 
twist in the plot would probably be either just after the halfway mark, um, which is called the point of no return, where the character can't go back, yeah. or it would be at the beginning of the third act, so or the end of the second, where yeah. you're put in a position where you know things are going to end, but the stakes have changed. So now you're like, oh no, what's going to happen next? Okay. How is this going to be resolved? All right. So um, another question would be with a main character. What do you see? Like, what do you think the best sort of type of character? What um, appeals to you the most? I think someone that is vulnerable. I like people that they they start off strong and they've got good intentions, but then they get sort of withered down or things start to affect them psychologically. Yeah. Sometimes they don't know whether it's real or it's in their head. I like those sort of films. Okay, now that's it. Good. Thank cool. you very much. Cheers, sir.